The U.N. says that 300,000 people have now evacuated Rafah ahead of a promised Israeli invasion. On NBC's Meet the Press, Secretary of State Anthony Blinken told Kristen Welker that civilians are still at risk. There has to be a credible plan for the civilians. Have you seen a credible uh, we plan? Sure. We have not. For the latest, let's get to Claudia Lavanga. But first, we should warn you, the images coming out of Gaza are disturbing. Claudia, good morning. Good morning, Francis. Uh, well, according to the Palestinians on Sunday, there has been heavy Israeli bombardment and fighting in the north uh, of Gaza. And the IDF has said that it, it killed several Hamas militants uh, there, which is yet another proof that uh, Hamas has managed to return and regroup into areas of Gaza uh, that had previously been declared cleared by Israel since the start uh, of the war. But a lot of focus and attention, of course, is still in the south of Gaza, in the town of Rafah, where many of the million Palestinians who are still finding shelter uh, there, many of whom had to be moved there from uh, other places, yet they were displaced uh, from, from the enclave. Well, they are, they are panicking uh, in anticipation of that imminent Israeli invasion, despite uh, caused by many allies, including the United States, to hold fire. Now, uh, another a person that now is calling for a ceasefire is Ehud Olmert, who is a, a former uh, Israeli prime minister, a member, former member of the uh, Netanyahu's party. He wrote an, opini an opinion piece uh, in the Israeli newspaper Haaretz. Let me just quote you uh, a part of it. Anyone who thinks that it's possible to return the hostages without a clear and total cessation of the war is deluding himself and the Israeli public. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is deliberately and no Knowingly foiling any chance of reaching such a deal. We're actually seeing see important voices now coming out of Israel as well, saying that the ceasefire is the only way uh, to get the remaining hostages home. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.